why we prescribe stretches for breaths and not for duration. Now, we use a lot of static stretching in our warm up for our lifters, specifically at the beginning, to get into good positions with our rib cage and our pelvis, but also to get some relaxation to some overly tonic muscles, specifically our lats and our glutes, that will often prevent lifters from getting into the positions they want to get into when they squat, bench, and deadlift. And now, a lot of times, stretches are prescribed for duration. Hold this stretch for 30 seconds, hold this stretch for 60 seconds. And what we find is that just holding for an arbitrary amount of time doesn't provide a quality stretch and doesn't provide the increase in range of motion that we're looking for, but rather when we stretch and we use breathing, so a silent inhale through the nose and then a long, slow exhale through the mouth, it does actually get those muscles to relax to the point where you do see an improvement in range of motion. So just holding for time doesn't really get what you want to get out of the stretch. Rather than using time, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever, use breaths. Five long, slow breaths seems to be about the right amount of time to see that transient improvement in range of motion. So then you can get into the positions you want to get into when you train. So don't stretch for time, stretch for breaths.